Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Programming with a Purpose. This is the part 2 in the widget kit series. In it, I am going to show you how you can configure the get timeline function to show different images that are downloaded from a remote URL and displayed using the different sizes in your UI system small, system medium, and system large. Also, I have configured the get snapshot function to display a snapshot inside the widget gallery. So, let's get started. So the first change that we are going to make to the previous code is changing the user defaults from storing a string to storing an array of strings that contain the image URLs that are being displayed inside our app. Next we are going to move to the widget code inside the load image module. And here I am changing the simple entry struct and I am adding an image to it in addition to the date and text that are previously added. So the next step is the updation of the definition of the function placeholder and function get snapshot. So I have added a default image to it with the name of preview that we are going to add to the assets uh, in a few moments. Inside the get timeline function, I am getting the value of the user defaults image URLs and I am going to store it inside a string array. And after that, I am going to call a function that is going to get all of these images and download them so that they can be passed on to our UI. So here I am writing the function download images that is going to get the array of the URLs that we have extracted from user defaults and it is then going to return us an array of simple entries. So it has created a local variable of entries and then a date and it is now iterating all of the image URLs inside the image URLs variable.
now it is creating the data tasks for each of these image urls and it is going to download the image and then pass it along to the simple entry which is then appended inside our entries variable and the date is incremented with 10 seconds and that basically helped us to change the image every 10 seconds inside the widget and after that a completion is returned along with the value of success as well as the data which is an array of simple entries. So inside the get timeline function it is just getting uh, calling the function download images and getting all the data and passing it to the entries variable which is then appended to the timeline. Now I am configuring the UI of load image entry view which is just basically changing the view uh, if it is a small, medium or a large view. So it is just uh, adjusting the font size along with the different variables like date is added inside dot system large but not in system medium or system small. And also it has uh, initialized a variable widget family which is getting the environment variable widget family which will help us to basically get which of the size we are dealing with at the moment inside the widget. Here I am copying the preview file inside my assets of widgets along with that 
I am just copying a default string inside my get timeline function. You can also fetch this string from a remote URL if you have an API that can give you data of image and description of the image as well. So here I am playing the code and as you can see that I have added a small widget and a medium sized widget and afterwards I am going to add a large widget and as you can see that the snapshots inside the widget gallery are what we have expected according to the UI and the display is also the same. Also the images are changing after every 10 seconds so we have achieved what we, what we wanted. So this is all. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. Do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. The next part will contain all of the updated changes in WWDC 23. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.